We have to uh, check out these wolves, though, at the Texas Wildlife Center. Look at them taking a swim, trying to beat the heat. This video is from Tuesday at the Fossil Rim Wildlife Center in Glen Rose, and it shows a red wolf and a Mexican wolf just enjoying the water. We had an excessive heat warning, Erin, so, mm. you know. They're just like us wolves. They're just like us. The little babies. <laughs> They're cute. They, I, man, but I just think about how hot that water probably is mm -hmm. at that point. I mean, it just doesn't take that long. I think our pool already just doesn't feel refreshing it's anymore. So true. Yeah. So uh, at least the heat advisory is done for us uh, in North Texas, and it's not extended into tomorrow, so we don't have to worry about that. We do still have some some pretty warm heat index values: 94 in McKinney, 95 for Denton and Fort Worth, 98 still in Dallas. That's what it feels like right now, but temperatures in the 80s and low 90s. So just kind of looking at your headlines, that heat advisory, it is expired. We were, it was set to expire at 8 o'clock, right on the dot. Bye-bye. Now, we still get to near 100 degrees tomorrow afternoon, but the dew points are a little bit lower. Humidity is a little lower for tomorrow, so I just don't think we meet that threshold for hitting the heat advisory, feeling like 105 to 110. Now, once we get into the weekend, heat index values will still be in the low 100s, but the 90s return and the 90s stick around through most of next week, but the daily rain and storm chances they return with the 90s and they stick around through next week as well. So something that we have to contend with. Now tonight, mostly clear and warm. We've got south southeast winds at 5 to 15. Temperatures at DFW expected to drop to around 80 degrees. It'll range from the upper 70s to the low 80s for tomorrow morning. And tomorrow, we'll probably still feel like the mid 80s to start walking out the door, probably feeling like 84, 85. By 9 a.m., it is 85. We get into the mid 90s by lunchtime, and then once again, topping out around 100, upper 90s to 100. And those feels like temperatures maybe up to 101, 102. A few spots to the south and east, you see Corsicana, Athens, Palestine, Tyler, Mineola. That's where those feels like temperatures may be a little bit closer to 103, 104, but again, still below that heat advisory threshold. Just keeping our fingers crossed that we get a few days without the warnings and without the advisories. Now, looking at your weekend forecast, Saturday, partly sunny skies, a high of 98. Remember, it still feels like the low 100s. And then into the overnight hours, rain chances return, and that coverage is at 30% on Sunday. So scattered showers, isolated storms, a high of 95 degrees. The clouds are welcome because it keeps the temperatures cool. Cooler. I think some rain is welcome, especially to the north and to the west Saturday afternoon. But by Sunday, we have that front that just kind of stalls out right along the 20 30 quarters. And that's where we start to see a few showers and storms as we get into the afternoon and early evening hours. Most of the rain is driven throughout the uh, afternoon hours, but maybe a few showers in the morning and certainly a few showers Monday in the afternoon. Now, for the 4th of July, we do have the rain chances at 20% as well. So keep that in mind. I don't think you have to cancel any outdoor plans, but just be prepared. If a storm develops, you're going to want to head inside quickly. Temperatures topping out around 97 on Independence Day.